So welcome to this paper slide video on transformations of the vertex form. So vertex form looks something like this. y is equal to a x minus h squared plus k. The h and the k will give us the vertex of the parabola. So the h comes from here and you can see this is a minus. So it's going to be the opposite of the h and the same number as the k. So for example, if we have y is equal to 2x minus 3 squared minus 4, then the vertex is going to be the opposite of this guy, which is 3, and the same as this. We can find out the, that the um, vertex will be the x value is 3, and the y is minus 4. If we try this different one, there's a value in front, which is the 1 third, which doesn't matter for the vertex, but will come in handy later on. Then this number would be the opposite, so that's a minus 4. And this one would be the same, plus 5. And you don't have to write that, plus 5, it's just so you see it. So, now that we know how to find the vertex, there are some trickier functions to figure out the vertex. For example, x squared. Well, we can rewrite that x squared as like 1 bracket x minus 0 squared plus 0. Now, we wouldn't do this, but essentially you can see how this value gives us a vertex, or this function gives us a vertex of 0 and 0. And x squared starts at 0 and 0. What about this function right here? 2x squared minus 3. Well, you can notice that there are no brackets around it, so this must be x minus 0, and then the minus 3 goes outside the bracket. So that must be a 0 for the, for the h value, and the k value, it's the minus 3. So now you know how to find the vertex of a parabola. But, you know, parabolas open up and open down, and they're skinny and they're wide. So how do we tell? Well, that a value at the beginning of it will let us know those, those uh, tips. And how? Well, here's a couple of ways of figuring things out. A silly one here. If the a value is positive, then it would open up. It'd be like a smile. If the a value is negative, it will open down, be like a frown. And if the a value is bigger than 1, then it'd be a skinnier one. It's actually it's called a vertical stretch. And if the a value is smaller than 1, like 1 fourth, then this would be a vertical compression and it will look wider. So let's put all of this together and start graphing some of these parabolas. So, x squared. We already figured out that x squared starts at the vertex, which is 0 and 0. And now all we have to do is remember how to square numbers. So, we're going to go from the vertex, we're going to run 1 to the right, and 1 squared is 1, so we go 1 up. Why am I going up? Because the a value right here is 1, so it's positive. Right? Whoops. It's positive, therefore it opens up to one of these guys. Now if I go with 2 squared, if I go with 2 is 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. 3 squared is 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 4 squared is 16, and I go over out of the page. So now, because the axis of symmetry goes through the vertex, I'm going to put the mirror points on the other side and I have the points for the parabola. And now we try as carefully as possible to draw something that will look like a curve. And there's our basic y equals x squared. So what happens when we have more things on the parabola, like this one, minus x minus 2 squared plus 3. Okay, we know the vertex, right? The vertex will be the opposite of this and the same as this. So the vertex is going to be a 2 and 3. So we're going to place that 2 and 3 going up. There's our vertex. What else do we find? Well, we find that the a value is 1, or negative 1. So it means it's going to open down. So it's going to be the same shape. We're going to do exactly the same thing that we did on the previous one, but going down. So I'm going to go over by 1, and 1 squared is 1. I'm going to go 1 down. Why down? Because there's a minus here. 2 over. 
and that's 2 squared is 4, so I'm going to go 4 down. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Go back to the vertex. 3 over, and 3 squared is 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 4 over, 1, 2, 3, 4 over, and 4 squared is 16. I'm going to go out of the page, so I'm going to stop right there. Because there's the axis symmetry that goes through the middle, I can put the mirror point on the other side and now I have the points to draw from my parallel. Now I gotta make sure that I don't go over oops, I don't go over this line because the next point is going to be further down so I'm sure when I exit I don't cross the next point right? But it'd be something like this it's not easy to draw a parabola by hand and there you go now we have y equals to minus x minus 2 squared plus 3 let's try it two more can you tell me this is 2 bracket x plus 3 squared plus 1 so where's that vertex well the vertex is going to be minus 3 and plus 1 so 1 2 3 plus 1 is right there there's our vertex now will this open up or open down well because it's a positive 2 we now know that it's a smile and it opens up how is that 2 going to affect it? Well, 2 is bigger than 1, which means it's going to be a vertical stretch. It's going to go up faster. How much faster? Well, this is how we do it. We go 1 over, like we always do, and then 1 squared is 1. Then we multiply it by 2. So 1 over is 1 squared. 1 times 2 is 2. So you go 1 and 2 up. It means you go double up, right? If you go 2 over, well, 2 over is 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8, so we go 8 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If I go 3 over, 3 squared is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. I had to go 18 up, and of course, I can't quite reach it. So I'm going to put the mirror image point. And this is all we got. So we're going to draw the parabola right there. So again, Okay, let's try one last one. You notice that the shape of this went up a lot faster than the previous one. And now let's see, for the last case, something that will have a fraction at the front. Okay, so one more time. This guy's a negative, so it's going to open down. And this guy's a half, which means it's going to be wider than the other ones. And how that's going to work is the same as before. We're just going to multiply by a half. So let's start with the vertex. There's no brackets here, so my x has to be 0, and the plus 6 stays the same way. So it's going to be 0 and 6. 0 and 6. Vertex is right there. Because there's a negative, it opens down. So it's going to, it's going to be going downwards. And because there's a half, I'm going to do 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, and multiply by half. So 1 squared is 1, times half is just half, so I'm going to go in between. 2 squared is 4, times half, it's 2. One, two. 3 squared is 9, times half, it's 4.5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and a half. Back to vertex, 1, 2, 3, 4 over. 4 squared is 16, times half, it's 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I'm going to keep on going until I run out of space. So 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 squared is 25, times half it's 12. 1, 2, 3, wait, 25 times half is 12.5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and a half. And 6 over is 36. 36 times half is 18, and I'm not going to be able to meet 18 only by a little bit. It'll be around there. So now I'm going to put the mirror points. On the other side on the same line making sure that I get the halves that'll be a half and that I do not cross the next line when I join this so here we go going up and 